libraries are more than just a simple book depository. There's so much more in our communities. And people might say, well, what does the receiver of taxes have to do with libraries? I go to the library all the time. I'm in the library not only with my kids once a week, taking out a book, you know, participating in a program in my home community regarding art shows. But as a receiver of taxes since my tenure, I've spoken at hundreds, if not thousands, of instances at public libraries in our community to help taxpayers. Simple little programs about showing residents how to challenge their, their assessment, how to get a tax exemption. And this year alone, I've probably spoken at, I'd say, over 60 libraries since January 2nd. And I've personally met over 5,000 residents at a library for a small little program that I do. And that's why it's astonishing to think that New York State has slashed the budget for library construction aid by $20 million this year. It's astonishing. When New York State is taking so much money and putting it all these other projects, to think we have to stand up here and say it's wrong for the state to be slashing the budget for construction costs by, what, 60%? 60%. It's, it's, it's appalling we're standing here. And that's why I've joined with all of them to urge our state leaders to put the money back and get it to our local libraries. A lot of our libraries have critical needs, have critical updates that they need to make to be able to be open and available for all at any time. We have libraries that have roofs that need fixing and HVACs that need replacing. And this $20 million cut to construction aid is going to have a severe impact on their ability to make those upgrades. I was the president of the Island Trees Public Library Board. And let me tell you something. I know firsthand how we need this construction aid for our libraries. $20 million has vanished from our libraries. That money could have been used as a necessary investment to our library infrastructure across our state. That is no longer the case. Last year, libraries received over $2 million of that $34 million. Uh, with these cuts, it's looking like we're going to get just about $800,000. And that's not enough to make the critical infrastructure up upgrades that are necessary for our libraries. There is something for everyone in every public library throughout New York State, and we hope that our government leaders will keep that in mind and fund us properly. I think it's important that we have the governor understand that we need libraries or education. And the funding for libraries have been cut. And every year we go to Albany, we work, try to work with our legislators, and we're usually successful. Um, but every year we, we keep going back, and the governor cuts. And so it's not just a matter of this cut, which was just a sign of disrespect to libraries and a slap in the face when everybody else, the amount of money that they provide to, to libraries in New York State is less than Cuomo spent on the signs on the parkways. A lot of these facilities are old and outdated. Think about that. This is not asking for a lot. And that's where we're asking all the residents, all the residents that are here today, all the residents that are hearing this, seeing this message, out, reach out to your legislators. Demand the money be given back. $20 million is an investment in your community and mine and every one of them and for every kid and every senior.